This study was part of the Serve City project, which was a very large um, Innovate UK funded project um, investigating the, um, uh, the UK's sort of capability for future um, robo-taxi service vehicles. The study worked by considering the driver in the vehicle, so it appeared as an autonomous car that was driving itself. Um, we had an interface, uh, an external HMI attached to the front of the vehicle and to the top of the windscreen. Uh, these were controlled by a researcher who was also sitting in the vehicle. We also used several different designs of EHMI and we drove the vehicle around the University of Nottingham campus over several days uh, and really it was a question of, of finding how people naturally responded to the, to, the, to the technology. This study was aiming to understand the trust on particularly pedestrians towards um, uh, future robo-taxi type vehicles when they're trying to decide whether or not to cross the road. So in particular, we're interested in the external human machine interfaces, how the vehicle um, uh, communicates its intent to those pedestrians. The study is, is very unique in the, the way we conducted the research. Um, the challenges associated with the, with the project were how to create a driverless vehicle. Um, and one way to do that is by using what we refer to as the ghost driver methodology, where a driver is hidden in the seat, so you can't see them if you were to glance into the vehicle. Um, but then you can drive around effectively as, as normal uh, and it gives the impression of a driverless vehicle. With manually driven cars, you often find that pedestrians will, will wave and, and, and gesture to the driver. What was really interesting with the study, and particularly with me as hidden driver, um, was that people still continue to do so. So they would wave and thank the car, even though there was no driver present. We collected data from, from the videos and we also collected survey responses. So we did ask people what they thought of the vehicle too. From those, we discovered different levels of trust associated with the different EHMIs, but we also noticed things like different amounts of visual attention that they, they attracted. So for example, the smiley face with the eyes uh, really captured attention, so glances were longer. Moving forward, um, there's two particular things that we want to focus on in future work. Our study was very much a, an initial experience, a sort of snapshot study, but we need to understand how people will interact with these vehicles over an extended period of time. The second thing that we're particularly interested in is we want to consider the wider range of road users who will interact with these vehicles. So cyclists and increasingly um, uh, micromobility users, such as that one.